guys, it's Michael and in today's video we're going to talk about how to start investing with as little as zero dollars. This isn't for someone who has tens of thousands of dollars to invest. This is for regular people who just are paying their bills and maybe want to start saving more money but don't know exactly how to invest or how to save their money. And in today's video we're going to talk about an app called Acorns investment app. Essentially, it is the absolute easiest way for anyone who is just getting started with investing or who has never invested before because with this app, you don't need to worry about what stocks to pick. You don't need to worry about if a company goes bankrupt that you'll lose all of your money. You don't have to worry about how to buy or sell a stock. You don't even need to know what a stock is. I mean, I don't recommend that. You probably should know what a stock is before putting your money in to sort of any app or in the market at all. But with this app, you don't need to know any of that because basically this is just the best app for someone who doesn't want to worry about investing, doesn't know much about the stocks, but simply wants to save and make more money. And this isn't a sponsored video. This is just a very simple app that I've used before and I still use and I recommend it to anyone who is just starting to invest. Later on, if you're more interested in the stock market, you want to start picking your own stocks, well then you can move away from this app. And you can always check out the other videos in my stocks and the stock market playlist. There's a ton of videos all about the stock market, specific companies. And if you're more interested in investing, well then that would be a good place to look. In today's video, I'm first going to break down exactly what is the Acorns investment app. I'm going to do a quick overview and breakdown of it, then we're gonna go into the most important features, and finally we will cover how much money the average person saves each year with this app and how you could actually grow your net worth and save a lot of money without even realizing. So if you like this sort of content, then please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know what you think of the Acorns investment app in the comments down below. So first off, let's go over an overview of the Acorns investment app. To start off, you're going to want to download the app, either on the Apple or Google Play Store. It's on all of the app stores, and I included a link in the description. So when you go ahead and download the app, you'll get $5 invested into your account immediately. And if you don't want to use my link, you don't have to, but you can just search it on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. You just won't get that $5 if you don't use the link down below. Acorns investment app, essentially what it is, is, is that it's a robo advisor app. And what this means is that it automatically saves and invests your spare change for you. You don't need to worry about anything at all. You simply can set up the app the first time you open it, you could set up your account. And once you set it up, you don't have to ever touch the app again after you set it up. I mean, you might want to check how much money you're making, how much is in your account, because you might be surprised like these people who find out they have hundreds of dollars in their account after a couple of months or years and they didn't even realize that they were saving this money but you don't have to check this app at all i would recommend you check it but you don't have to at all now i want to cover three important features of the app that i think could really help you out and help you save and invest a lot more money so the first feature is called roundups and what this is is that when you create an account you link your debit or your credit card to your account and then every time you make a purchase on one of those cards so if you go to the grocery store the gas station to a restaurant anytime you make a purchase it'll round that amount up to the nearest dollar and save and invest that spare change for you. So if you spend $4.99, they'll round that up to $5, take that penny and invest it into the stock market for you. This is great. This is an easy way to save a lot of money over time. And you don't really think about it. If they're saving five cents here, 10 cents here, it doesn't feel like you're spending a lot of money because $4.99 versus five is not a big deal. But over time, you're really able to save a lot. Now onto the second feature, which is recurring deposits. This is also a great feature in the app that I would recommend people to use if you can, because if you want to save and invest even more money than just your spare change, well, then you could set up recurring deposits using this recurring deposits feature to automatically deposit a set dollar amount into your account, either daily, weekly, or monthly. The minimum is $5, but you can have it go up as high as you want and you can have it automatically deposit this amount into your account every day, week, or month. And what I love about this recurring deposits actually leads us into the third feature of the app, which is the growth potential chart. With this chart, it is so cool to watch because with this feature, it shows you how much money you'll have at any point in time in the future. So 
five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, based on how much you're saving. So in this app, you can say, I'm gonna save $5 every week. And it'll say how much you'll have 10 years from now if you did that. And if you maybe wanna change that to $10 a week, how much you'll have if you save $10 a week. So this is just a great app to see how much saving money now really affects how much money you'll have in the future. Okay, so those three features are the absolute easiest and my favorite features of the app. The roundups are great because they help you save money really without even realizing. The second feature is the recurring deposits and the third one is that growth potential chart. Now let's get into how much money the average person saves on this app. So the average person saves 30 to $50 a month simply using the roundups feature. So that means not even investing recurring amount every week or every day. That is just by the app rounding up your spare change every time you make a purchase. And 30 to $50 may not seem like a lot, but after a year, that's basically $600 that you'll have saved up. After two years, that's 1200 And on top of this, they're investing that money for you. So if the stock market goes up, that 600 can turn into $700. So basically the way it is, is over time, if you look back in a couple of years, you could have $10,000 in your account, $20,000 in your account, depending on how much you have for recurring deposits and how much you set to automatically deposit into your account. But this is just a great way for any beginning investor to start saving money because you don't have to think about it. You don't have to know what stocks are. It's just very simple and it takes away all of the thought about what stocks to buy. Is this stock going to go out of business? Is it going to go bankrupt? What should I do? This takes all of the thought out of it and that's why I think the Acorns investment app is a great app for anyone who is just a beginning investor. So anyways, don't forget to download the Acorns investment app using the link down below and you'll get $5 immediately. Also, you can get two free stocks when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and $20 when you download the M1 finance app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.